Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here do we developed automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter what sport is your favorite one to bet on. So we are entering the final couple weeks in the major league baseball season, and there are still some playoff spots up for grabs. So we have a nice uh, set of uh, series for this weekend. So we're going to get started here. So if you're not already a member, though, please join, and you'll have access to the VIP club section right here. We can have all the the best tools to help you make your picks. So we're going to pick Major League Baseball, and you see the date September 13th, that is Friday. We're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of the matchups for the weekend. So first we're going to take a look at, uh, let's see, not the Pirates and the Cubs. There we go, the Braves and the Nationals. So in this National League East battle, the Braves are well up on top, but the Nationals still have a good chance at a playoff spot. So you can see the Braves now, right now are burning hot. They have won five out of their last six games. The Nationals are average. They have won two out of their last six games, breaking a four-game losing streak. Uh, if you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that the Braves here are plus 24, even though they're on the downward trend, and the Nationals are really on a downward trend, going from plus 19 down to plus 12. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering betting the over-under in, in this game, you will take a look here that you will see that Atlanta is trending under the red line compared to the blue line. And Washington is playing games trending over. So you, since they're on opposite sides of the line, best to avoid the over-under in this series. If you take a look at the uh, volatility oscillator, which I like to do to see how stable the two teams are, you can see both teams are showing very good stability, plus 34 for the Braves, plus 28 for the Nationals, which means that they are performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status, so that is very important to look at. So if we take a look at the pitcher profit odds, I'll show you how that works a little bit later in, in the most important series of the week. So bear with me, but I'll just explain that to you later. But if you look at the scheduled starters for this weekend, Mike Soroka, and Max Scherzer are excellent as far as profit goes at plus 527 versus plus 1994 in favor of Scherzer. So even though Soroka has done well as far as pitcher profit goes, Scherzer is better. He is the best bet for Friday's matchup. The best matchup overall, though, as far as betting probably is Max Fried for Atlanta over Annabelle Sanchez for Washington on Sunday. Fried is at plus 1460. Sanchez is at minus 2162. Overall, I think the Braves are the better team, clearly the better team, and they should easily take the series two games to one. So let's go down through here to another important matchup. We got the, the Dodgers and the Mets, another good matchup. The Dodgers come in with the best record in the National League. The Mets are in fourth place with very slim playoff chances. See, the Dodgers are average right now. They have won four out of their last six, recently breaking a two-game losing streak. The Mets are also average. They are 3-3 three three over the last six. And if you see down here in the comments section, I didn't mention this with the first game, but you see here I, I already have posted a comment here. And pretty much just my rundown of what I think is going to happen here in this uh, series here. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Dodgers are plus 24. Again, on a little downward trend, the Mets are, have sta uh, stabled out over the last couple of days after – being on a downward trend themselves, they are, are at plus 13. Take a look at the totals predictor. If you are considering the over and under, the Dodgers are over right now. The Mets are trending over as well. Yes, you can see the red line compared to the blue line. So betting the over is a very safe bet for games in this series. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, not a surprise, the Dodgers are among the most stable teams in the league. They are very consistently winning when fairs and losing when underdogs, and considering they are fairs most of the time, this makes a lot of sense with their stability being so high. Uh, as far as the pitcher profit oscillator goes, Clayton Kershaw is the best bet for the weekend. He pitches on Friday for the Dodgers at plus 1182. In fact, all three scheduled starters for the Dodgers are in the green. As far as the Mets go, Jacob deGrom is the worst bet. He goes on Saturday. He is at minus 1139. The Dodgers will win the series two games to one, maybe actually come out with a sweep. Now, this is, might be the best matchup of the whole weekend. The Minnesota Twins and the Cleveland Indians, the top two teams in the American League Central. 
The Twins are burning hot. They have won three out of their last six. Cleveland is average down. They have actually won four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see Minnesota has been stable over the last, you know, last five days or so at plus 23. Cleveland has been up and down there, back up to plus 20. Let's take a look here at the totals predictor. Again, considering the over and under, you can see that Minnesota is trending in games now well under. and They were trending in games over just recently. Uh, if you look at Cleveland, they are trending in games over, so I would avoid the over-under since they're on opposite sides of the line. Volatility. Who is the most stable of the two teams? Well, let's take a look. Look at this. Almost dead even. Both teams are really stable, plus 31 to plus 30. So they're both performing very well according to their favorite underdog status. Now, if we look at the pitcher profit oscillator, now I'm going to show you how this works. If you don't already know. So if you go to the oscillators, you will see here you can choose the teams that you want choosing Minnesota and Cleveland, and the pitching matchups that you want. Now, I'm pitching, uh, excuse me, I am picking the Sunday pitching matchup between Jose Barrios for the Twins versus Shane Bieber for the Indians. So if you go down through here, you can see that by the chart, you can see their, their trend, their profit trend, or you can just go right down here to the bottom line. You see Barrios is at minus 813. Bieber is at plus 446. So you can see that Bieber has a big advantage here on Sunday's game. So that is a big advantage probably for the Indians at home in that matchup. So you can go through all the rest of the games and do the same thing, put in the, the pitchers, and you can uh, compare their pitcher profits. So overall in the series, though, um, I think the, the Twins will win. The Twins are excellent on the road. They're 48-24 and 24 on the road. Cleveland is 14 over 500 at home as well, but the Twins are much better on the road. They're the best team. They will win this series two games to one. So we go down through here for a couple more matchups. The Minnesota, or excuse me, this one here, yeah, the Milwaukee Brewers at the St. Louis Cardinals. So in this National League Central matchup, the Brewers are average down, Cardinals are average up. You can see that the Brewers have won five out of their last six, and the Cardinals have won four out of their last six. The Cardinals are 46 and 26 at home. The Brewers are five games under 500 on the road. That could be an important uh, stat to remember for this series because the Cardinals are so much better at home. But let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see Milwaukee's actually a little bit above St. Louis at the moment, plus 22 to plus 20. You can see over the course of the season, they have been up and down as far as that goes. Uh, surprise, most teams are a little bit on the up and down trend on that category. Let's look at the totals predictor, looking for the over and under. Again, Milwaukee is trending under the red line compared to the blue line. St. Louis is trending over. Generally, when teams are trending on opposite sides, it's the safe bet is just not to bet the over-under at all. Pretty much just avoid that in the series. If you look at the uh, pitching matchups, uh, Adrian Hauser, Jordan Lyles, and Chase Anderson for the Brewers are all in the red. In the pitcher profit oscillator with Jordan Lyles and Anderson minus 1465 and minus 1134 respectively. So very poor bets. If you look at the Cardinals, Adam Wainwright is a great bet on Friday. He's at plus 1,900. And Michael Waka is a very good bet on Sunday at plus 467. So the Cardinals really should have no trouble coming away with this series win, taking two out of three. Got one more matchup we want to take a look at here. Roll down through the list. It's Tampa Bay at Los Angeles Angels. So the Rays are still in the playoff chase, even though they are well off the pace in the AL East. They're still in good position for a wild card. They're burning hot, having won nine out of their last ten. The Angels are ice cold down, having lost four out of their last six, and the Angels are fourth in the division. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see the trend also here. A huge advantage, plus 26 for Tampa Bay. The Angels going down there at plus eight at the moment. The totals predictor. Can we bet an over-under? Well, maybe. Let's take a look. Under for the games with the Rays, over with the games for the Angels. Again, probably best to avoid the over and under in this series as well. Take a look at to see how stable the two teams have been. The Rays have been the more stable team at plus 33, and the Angels are at plus 18. As far as the pitching matchups go, we always like to take a look at that. Well, um, probably a little bit of a surprise, but five out of the six starting pitchers 
uh, scheduled for this series are in the red. None of them really very strong on the profit margin. Uh, Ryan Yarborough is the best overall. He goes for the raise on Sunday, but even he is only at plus 107. So it may be best to avoid uh, looking at the picture profits as far as making bets for games in this series. The bottom line is, though, that the Angels, fourth place in the division, 28 games out with only, what, two weeks left. They're probably looking for toward the offseason and really have little to play for. They can't even really play spoilers. So the Rays should very easily win the game and could actually sweep the series. So there you have it. Remember, if you have not already joined, please join and take advantage of all the great tools that we have here. They'll help you win. They'll help you win big. And enjoy the games this week. And we will see you next week as we get set to conclude the Major League Baseball season and head towards the playoffs. Have a great weekend.